Hi guys, it's Sophia. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I'm back to share a Valentine tag flip book that I created and I think it turned out super cute. It's super chunky and I love it. So I wanted to share really quick. It's for a swap that I'm doing on Instagram and it's um, the only swap that I'm doing this month. So I am working on other little projects and things but it's only um, like snail mail swap that I'm doing so I had a lot of fun with this one I think it turned out cute so I think the easiest way to share these is to take them well to take the tags off the ring so I'll do that and I will start by saying that there's a lot of inspiration throughout this tag flip from uh, Regina who's moon rock paper scissors on Instagram so I will leave her information below in the description box in case you want to check her out um, but yeah, I just love, love her tag flip books. So um, I used a Dollar Tree foam, not foam, sorry, felt um, heart. And I just layered uh, the doily, some die cuts from the paper collection that I used, and this um, little glitter heart I cut out using a Sizzix die. And then I added one of my little um, paper clips that I had attached some little dangles to. So there's the cover. And then on the back, I attached this little flare button, which I thought was cute. And it says, Happy Valentine's Day, little lady. So that's the first tag. And then I created um, a shaker tag, and I think it turned out super cute. I made my own little arrow template, and I used my fuse tool to create this um, shaker tag that's shaped like an arrow. And then I added this little metal um, reinforcer. And I'm always a little, like, nervous that they're going to come apart and spill everywhere. But um, I'm trying to let the fuse tool heat up a little longer, and I think um, they're okay. And um, I added this little die cut here that says hello. And at the bottom here for the point, I added these little glitter um, foam hearts from the Dollar Tree. And I added one to the back and one to the front. I attached it with a strip of... Um, the red line tape and then also some hot glue so hopefully that'll stay put and then just added a little a little um, puffy heart in the center there and I also added or made this tag using a pre-made uh, white tag that I just drew a black little border on and then I added some pink crepe paper and a punched out heart using a uh, gold vellum paper and then I added this um, this little die cut from my stash and some little puffy hearts from Target and then on the back here I attached uh, the little mini tag flip that I had created and I shared that in a, a previous video so I just put it in a little bag and attached it with some washi tape so there's that tag and then this next one is kind of like a set I used another one of my um, Sizzix dies um, and I die cut this key I did three layers of cardstock and I don't know it's still kind of flexible but I think it's okay and I added some little red rhinestones and I think it's cute because it's shaped like a, a heart up here and then it also die cuts this um, matching keyhole so I thought that was cute I added um, I ran it through an embossing folder and I wanted to highlight the keyhole so I used this uh, Nouveau glitter marker to add a little glitter to this area and then just, you know, embellished with a few little die cuts and foam hearts and some little sequins. And then I did finally get to play with this cute little die, the Tag Reinforcer die from My Creative Time and I love it. It's so cute and I love the little stitching that it has on it. On the back I attached um, two die cuts with this little heart paper clip so there's that and then I'm adding a little um, treat sack that's just full of like a lo other little goodies and um, glitter hearts another little puffy heart some acrylic hearts um, paper clips and some more flare buttons so there's that and then I attached this tassel and a couple little rhinestones to the clip and then I'm including um, some washi tape in gold and then I had a lot of fun with this tag I think it turned out super cute I um, 
just cut apart a gold doily that I had um, to so it would be at an angle and then I just sewed it on my sewing machine using red um, red sewing thread to create a pocket and then I added some sequins and these little stickers are still on the acetate so they can be um, you know they can be used so there's that tag and then this one here I used um, some packaging. I think there was washi tape in this uh, little packaging. This tag that you see here um, is from some washi tape that I picked up at Target. And then I just layered a little envelope on top of that. There's um, a clear, a little clear stamp in here. And um, I punched out this XOXO using some red foil paper. And that's a Fisker's punch. So there's that. And then on the back here, I think this is super cute. It's like really, really old. <laughs> it's um, by Rusty Pickle and it was a sticker sheet that I had, but I think it's cute. It says, choose your love and love your choice. So I thought that was cute. And I just added this arrow and a little sticker, um, little puffy heart to that middle one there. So there's that tag. And then this tag I created using another tag punch that I have from, I think it's by the Paper Studio, I'm not sure, but I picked it up at Hobby Lobby, so I just punched out this little tag and added another glitter heart and some stickers um, for that 14 there. And then I attached a little cupcake pick to the back with some washi tape. And then I used my envelope punch board and I created this little envelope and um, that's where I'm putting my little letter, and there's that. And then I created this other tag using um, another tag punch from Hobby Lobby, and this one I know is by the Paper Studio, and it cuts out this little um, tag shape. So I used that, and then I had some vellum, a uh, little book of vellum quotes, and this one says, follow love where it leads, so I created another tag shape and just layered that on top with this cute little gold bow and I used my fringe scissors to create some little fringe at the bottom here so there's that tag and then I used another Sizzix die to create this little pocket using some of the paper from the collection and then I just filled it with some little um, just die cuts and things for my swap partner so there's that and then I just layered a die cut an arrow and a little bit of washi tape there and then I'm using this little clip to hold everything in in place and then for the last tag I added this um, sticker sheet and this came from that booklet from Target that I picked up and I just um, took this out I cut off the other little tab and then left this one and just punched a hole so I could attach it to the tag flip so that's it for um, the tag flip that I created and then I'm also including this little lip balm um, gift and this is the way I packaged up a memory decks card that I'm including and I had shared these little baggies as well in a previous video and then I just after I folded it over I added some twine and a little heart sticker there so I think that's cute a cute way to send the memory decks card and then I'm including this little um, package um, with some handmade embellishments that I created so that's it guys for my little share today I hope you enjoyed taking a look and um, please subscribe if you um, are not subscribed to my channel and if you like my videos. And also um, just let me know if you what you think. Um, I love to read your comments. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.